In the last episode, I left you with two questions. The first one was, "Does the Gen Zero budget change?" Midnight says yes. And if you have looked at GC stats on your own program, as we demonstrated in the last episode, you already knew the answer. It absolutely changes. The Gen Zero budget is initialized to its minimum, which is some fraction of the last level cash on your machine, and gets tuned every time a GC happens, so it can be larger than its value. When you're using server GC, which has multiple heaps, each heap will have its own Gen Zero budget. So what you can allocate before the next GC happens is approximately the sum of the Gen Zero budget of all heaps. The biggest factor that changes the Gen Zero budget is the survival rate. So why do we pick the survival rate? Because we want the GC work to be worthwhile. If we trigger GC when the survival rate is lower, it means we can get relatively more space back, so it's worth the work. Of course, with pretty much everything in GC, there are always multiple considerations and subtleties. For example, when we run into the high memory load situation, we might want to reduce the budget because we want to have the chance to reclaim memory sooner. Another consideration is when we're running in memory constrained environment, like a container with a memory limit. We might also want to reduce the budget because the size we calculated based on the cache might be too big for a container with a very small memory limit. There are other factors, and we'll cover them as we introduce more concepts in GC. The second question was: Do Gen One and Gen Two also have their own allocation budget? Again, Midnight says the answer is yes. The allocation budget is indeed a per-generation concept, but since you don't allocate directly in Gen One and Gen Two, how are their budgets consumed? Something is allocating into Gen One, and that is the survivors of Gen Zero. Let's say after Gen One GC, the Gen One budget is B1, and now a Gen Zero GC happens, and it survived S0 bytes. Now the remaining Gen One budget is B1 minus S0. Same with Gen Two. The Gen One survivors will consume the Gen Two budget. We already knew that when the Gen Zero budget is exceeded, a GC is triggered. But what generation does that GC actually collect? The first thing we do during a GC is to check if the Gen One budget is exceeded, and if so, we would escalate the generation for that GC to Gen One. Same with Gen Two. The allocation budget is one of the most significant factors to determine which generation a GC will collect.